with another video today's video will be a bit different because uh, it's about an application uh, installation process which is sh called shijuku you guys already know about shijuku i think and it i'm very late about it i thought earlier to make video on it but i could not make it uh, let's try today and this will be a proper guide for you to install this shijuku and uh, first of all let me clear what is shijuku with the help of shijuku you guys can use some rooted applications so let's get started with the full process if you don't want to root your device using magisk but you want to use some rooted applications on your device then shijuku will help you without root you can use that so let's get started first of all or download shijuku from play store and i already downloaded just type shijuku and you will get it just install and open the application and here you guys will get some advices how you can install how you can start that shijuku uh, on the top you guys can see shijuku is not running that means we have to run it and how we can do that and if your device is rooted then you don't need to worry about it because uh, you can just start it in one click because your device is rooted and if your device is not rooted then how you can install this one or how you can run it start via wireless debugging and this is the simplest and easiest method without root and we have another way start by connecting to a computer and if you don't have a computer then this gonna be a mess so we will leave both things which is uh, start by connecting a computer and for rooted device we'll choose that one start via wireless debugging uh, to start this one just notice here on android 11 or above you guys can use this shijuku on android 11 to android 13 or above so let's see here on android 11 or above you can enable wireless debugging and start shijuku directly from your device without connecting to a computer please view the step-by-step -step guide first you can uh, open this step-by-step -step guide or follow my process and just keep it like this and go to your settings about section and of course find out the build number and uh, just click on it several times and your developer option will be enabled and when you are done just go to system again and find out developer option and your developer option will be turned on and then scroll down and find out usb debugging here is the usb debugging just enable this one and scroll down you will get wireless uh, yes wireless debugging just enable that now get back you are done now open shijuku and click on pairing here you guys will get with the pairing process needs you to interact with a notification from shijuku please allow shijuku to post notification just click here and enable the notification and get back and here you guys can see searching for pairing devices or services whatever now go to developer option and find out the wireless debugging open it and here you guys can see pair device with pairing code just click on it and this is the code just enter the code here we have the eight double four three two one then click on that arrow and we are done you can start shijuku service now so we are done with it and remember one thing is still you have a problem then again go to developer option and enable disable wireless debugging and you are good to go and remember one thing pairing is not mandatory all the time if you do it once you are done now get back and check shijuku is not running yet just click on start and go to developer option and go to wireless debugging just enable and disable it again now get back and it will be done so close in three seconds so everything is cool now check it shijuku is running this is the simplest way to enable shijuku in your device 
using that shijuku you guys can uh, get the benefit from root applications which you can't install without root but you can install by using shijuku so this is the way you guys can install shijuku on your device and i'm using here android 13 you guys can do it on android 12 android 12 l and android 11 as well so hope you guys like my work if you like my work then don't subscribe and hit the bell icon so thank you for watching